If you search student, doctor, pre-med, Reddit, the overwhelmingly most popular question pre-meds ask is, what are my chances? And that question makes a lot of sense. You wanna make sure that all this time and energy you're putting in doesn't go to waste. On the other hand, who are these group of strangers who are gonna weigh in on the future of your life and why do you trust them? So what I wanted to do today is give you the three considerations that anybody can do without having to post the, the intimate details of their life online, okay? So the first thing you gotta figure out is, am I good enough in the places that count? Here are the places that count for all med schools. Grades, MCAT, letters of recommendation, exposure to the field, so clinical volunteering and paid medical work and shadowing, uh, non-clinical volunteering, and research. Those would be the six biggest considerations at most medical schools in the United States. And so you need to be good enough when it's, as it concerns all six of those. What's good enough? Well, if you look at the GPA and MCAT ranges on the MSAR, that's the Mid-School Admissions Requirement website, you can look at what the 25th to 75th percentile numbers are for most med schools. To be good enough, you need to be within that, within that range. Lower than that, and you'd have to be truly extraordinary to get into that place, and that's unlikely. So you need to start by what is good enough. Uh, letters of recommendation, good enough is having several people who know you really well. Um, good enough for exposure is two to 300 hours of time spent in a medical setting. Non-clinical volunteering, good enough is consistent volunteering over the course of a year or two. Uh, research, good enough, is just simply spending some time in a research lab, typically about six months. So that's good enough, but that won't get you in. Here's what gets you in. Consideration number two is, what is the unique perspective that you bring to the incoming class? It's a really common secondary essay that most med schools ask. And you know, think of a med school, like if, let's just say you have a really small med school, you have 10 people in your incoming class. You don't want them all to be white males, so you want a little diversity there, right? Uh, so the first thing of diversity is, what hardships have you overcome? Is it significantly more than the average pre-med? Number two would be, are you a member of an underrepresented group or are you from an underrepresented part of the country? Did you grow up in the middle of nowhere and now you wanna be a rural doctor? Or maybe you grew up in an urban underserved area. Those would be the easy ways to answer that question of the unique perspective you bring, but don't discount other experiences. Perhaps you have a graduate degree, you have a PhD, that's a unique perspective. Maybe you majored in art history or something really weird, that would be a unique perspective. Maybe you spent years as a Starbucks barista, that would be an unusual perspective as well. Uh, it's unusual because most pre-meds haven't done it. So that would be another way to make sure that you get in. If everything else is good enough and you have a really unique perspective, you're gonna get into the school in question. And then number three would be, if you don't have a unique perspective, then you need to take of those six things, three of them need to be strong. So in above the 75th percentile. So you can get in with average GPA and MCAT numbers as long as your extracurriculars are truly outstanding. You know, or maybe your MCAT is really strong, your GPA is average, your volunteering is extraordinary, your research is just okay. That is also going to get you in. But those are the three considerations. Are you good enough? What unique perspective do you have? And if you don't have one, how are you gonna be a rock star for that med school? I hope that helps with answering those all important life determining questions of what your chances are. Um, if you are looking for more guidance on this, we'd love to help. We offer free hour long meetings. Uh, it's called What Are My Chances Meetings? And that's where you can get our professional opinion on your application. And so if that is something that you think would be helpful for you at this point, we'd love to see you.